Hey guys, so normally I'd be talking about the the RT700, but today I'm going to talk about the uh, B380, the bullseye. And I got this for Christmas, and um, one thing that I noticed was my temperature, my actual temperature measured by my ink bird, which is trusted. I have verified both probes are correct. Um, it's correct in my 700. If they're consistent I put one probe um, I have two probes actually I put one right next to the, the the probe and another one right in the middle and they were within five degrees of each other the whole time and so my Rectech 380 was showing a hundred degrees hotter than what the actual temperature was on on the controller so the grill is running about 100 degrees hotter than what it, what it's showing that can lead to problems with cooks and I've noticed this issue uh, people complaining about it quite often on the forums and it happened to me as well so I went online looking for a video on how to adjust this because this is a lot different than this controller right here so, um, so there's no video. So I wanted to make the video so I can show you guys. And so I went on the owner's manual and I looked up the procedure and this is how you do this. Now you can actually do this while the grill is on or off. So uh, that's, that's up to you how you want to adjust it. If you're gonna do it while the grill is on, I would do it, um, like I would make small changes and wait for maybe like 20 minutes or so for the uh, temperature to stabilize so you know that you don't change it too much or uh, you know or too little or something like that just make small changes if it's on because this is a PID it's going to adjust on its own but you just want to make sure uh, once it's stabilized that's when you want to adjust it to reflect your trusted uh, probe um, so, without further ado, this is how you do it. You hold a temp display and the up button at the same time for about three seconds, and you will get three eights that pop up. So, one, two, three. First thing that comes up is your feed rate. Mine is set to seven right now because I'm having some issue with something else. Uh, I'm going to talk to Rectech about that. Hit temp display again. Now you'll see zero. And you see the actual uh, indicator blinking. This is your offset. So uh, you want to either, if it's running hot or cold, uh, adjust it. I think this is based on percentage. I actually had to go to 17. I can't remember if mine was negative 17 or 17. Um, I think it was 17, um, not negative, but mine was about 100 degrees hotter, so it had to go up to 17 for it to stabilize, and the max is 20. After 20, it won't go anymore, so um, yeah, so I'm still going to talk to Rectech about this because uh, 17 is should, shouldn't be that much of an offset, um, and I know my probes are correct, so once you have your your uh, your offset right showing what what you want, you just hit the power button, and then it, it escapes out, and it's going to remember it. Now, that's all you need to do to do the offset. You can do the same thing for the meat, same exact thing. You can cycle through. Now you can see the meat is showing. That's the offset for the meat. I haven't even plugged that in, so I don't even know how much off that is. Um, but the other thing is getting to your uh, your test mode. You actually hold the temp display and the down button at the same time. Now this one I couldn't do when the grill was on. This one. You can only do it with the grill is off, I believe, because I tried to do it when the grill was on because I thought the offset was in this, 
but it's not. So that's how I found out. So temp display and down button at the same time. You'll see the the eight. Hit the temp display. You'll see I don't know what that is version number or something probably the software. And then you have five dash one. And then I believe you hit the power button to go to five two. And then the down five three. Then the up five four. Then temp display again. Ignition shows up. This activates your ignition. Your igniter. Sorry one more this is your auger you can hear it feeding pellets this is the fan you can hear the fan going on and then this is just the actual it shows your actual uh, temperature right now so and then this is your meat it shows what degree your meat is showing at your meat probe when it's not plugged in so that's why it's blank and then one more it says bye and then you hit it again and it disappears so that is how you cycle through uh, the the um, the menu options so again I didn't see any video of this and this isn't the best quality video I know I just did this really quick I just got this today so I'm not very familiar with it myself but since I didn't see any video on it I thought, hey, maybe I'll just release this just in case it might help someone else. Or uh, maybe later on when I get uh, more acquainted with this grill, I would be able to um, I would be able to make a better video on it. So thank you guys for watching and I hope it helped you guys out.